Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to mirror your LG Stylo 3 Plus to a TV using a Chromecast. So you want to make sure your um, Chromecast is plugged in, set up, and make sure you switch to the right input that your Chromecast is plugged into. And also, let's go ahead and swipe down on the stylo here and make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on. This is really important. You wanna make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Chromecast. All right, now that our Wi-Fi is on the right network, so again, your phone being on the same network as your Chromecast, same Wi-Fi network, we're gonna to go to the Play Store and you wanna make sure you download the Google Home app. This is the app we're gonna to use to mirror our screen. So after it's downloaded, we're gonna open it up. And I'm gonna show you two ways to mirror your screen. So the first way is gonna be how to mirror your screen directly to the TV. So whatever is on your screen, it will show up the same way on the TV. The second way I'm gonna show you is how to just mirror a video so that you're able to still use your phone while the video is playing. So the first method, we're gonna go menu, cast screen and audio and we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna pick our Chromecast. So my Chromecast name is Recess. Hit Recess. And now it's casted directly to the TV. So whatever I do on my phone, it will show up on here. And same thing, if I go to like Netflix, for example, it will show up. Now, if you wanted to fill the screen, turn it sideways and it will rotate. This works in just about every app, but it will not work on the home screen. So that's just an FYI. And so guess what? I can scroll through Netflix and maybe if you're in a room full of people and you're trying to figure out what to watch, this would be a cool way to kind of browse Netflix and see what's the best option. And then once you pick a video, it will begin to play. The problem is with this method, it will play on the TV and on your phone at the same time. Therefore, you can't use your phone and mirror it at the same time, which I think is frustrating. So here's what I recommend that you do. We're going to go back home. We're going to go, go to the Google Home app, which is, again, right here. And disconnect the Chromecast. So do that first. And then we're going to go to the app. Let's say you've picked a video on Netflix that you want to watch. We would find that video. Let's say it's Arrested Development. Go ahead and tap on it. Now, up here, find this little symbol. This is your Chromecast symbol. If we tap on that and we then select our Chromecast. It will now link your phone to the TV. So now your Chromecast, AKA your TV is basically ready to play whatever video that you pick. So if I pick a video on here, it'll begin to play on the TV. Um, or I guess that one's having trouble. So let's pick a different one. Let's see. Okay. Maybe there's a problem with that show. Let's get out of this and let's do YouTube. I normally don't have any problems when I do it with uh, YouTube. All right, so YouTube. And I'm gonna pick one of my videos. And so I'm gonna pick a video on YouTube, hit play, and it's gonna begin to play on the TV. Taking a little while, but it will. Okay, so it's playing. And guess what? My phone. How's it going out there? Oh. Welcome Let's go ahead and pause videos. it here. We're going to be doing the part two of the Galaxy Note 3 for beginners. Actually, if you it's swipe down. How to navigate the phone. What is what? Kind of going over the different little icons. You this can get a little tricky. Yeah, so let's jump in. Let's get started. So first thing I'm going to. So right now it's not. It's not cooperating with me, which happens. It's okay. That's what we're going to do. Chromecast. Stop casting, and we just stopped it. So um, sometimes it does trip out. So I'm going to do it one more time, so you can see the way it's supposed to work, and hopefully it won't trip. So we're going to hit that cast icon again. Select our Chromecast recess, and it should start playing again. Now the cool thing is I can use my phone and do other things while the video is playing. So I can go on. Instagram or my camera or I can even take a phone call and it will continue to play the video from my phone. To me, this is the better way to mirror your screen. Now, if I swipe down, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to 
So it's not cooperating the way it normally does. Normally you're able to swipe down and control the video from the notification panel, but um, it's acting a little funny right now. So totally fine. Go back to YouTube, hit this icon, and we can hit stop casting and that will stop it. So, but normally what you're able to do is when the video is playing, you can swipe down from your notification panel, you can pause the video, you can fast forward, rewind, or you can cut it all together. But essentially those are the two ways you can mirror your screen to the TV using Chromecast. So the one way is to mirror your whole screen in audio, the other way is to just pick selected content. So any one of the video streaming apps that Chromecast icon will show up when you are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. So hope you guys did find that helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos and have a good one.